Younger Dryas, Noah's Ark 7000-Year Turnover Event by Hybrids to Cradle and Civilization. Introduction 2. Our existence depends on us acquiring again the lifestyle our ancestors practiced, genetics and epigenetics, and which made them thrive and expand and rendered them stable DNA. To some extent the maintenance of stable DNA, even while they were hybrids that typically feature less stable DNA, also helped the ancestors of modern humans, but in particular certain groups, Y-DNA haplogroup R, to turn over significant part of the world, and to ultimately kind of dominate the planet, monopolar. Nevertheless it is important to be aware modern human DNA is hybridized DNA and it is less stable than for instance the hybridized DNA of certain indigenous people and or older haplogroups, ancient populations. That is one more reason we need to know who our ancestors are and what paths we followed, including the transoceanic ones. The so-called developed world underwent the most recent population turnover events and features the most recent hybridized DNA, David Rye, that could include blue eyes, blonde hair, rhesus negative blood groups, RHD negative. So the developed world has the most reason to preserve its DNA and to avoid degeneration and instability, while at the same time preserving what is left over of our ancestors and biodiversity, one gene, one health. There are indications that the 2019 epidemic is associated major genetic risk factor, with Y-DNA haplogroup R, that features an above-medium fraction of DNA similar to Neanderthal DNA, as well as association with a certain type of air pollution. The 2022 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine was awarded to the Swedish geneticist, Svant Parbo, for his discoveries concerning the genomes of extinct hominins and human evolution, for the sequencing of the genome of the Neanderthal, the discovery of a previously unknown hominin. Certain Amazon Amerins, including Tsemein, Bolivia, present seven times less degeneration, including heart and brain health, that is associated with DNA. This exceptional heart and brain health and consequent minimal vulnerability to dementia and Alzheimer's is not sufficiently explained and is not explainable with apparent differences of lifestyle. Chapters 1. Noah's Ark of the Bible and the Younger Dryas 7,000-Year Population Turnover Event David Rye, Ancient DNA, Out of Americas, Amerindians, by hybrids leading to a cradle and civilization. Noah's Ark Bible abstract plays down or kind or covers, up, a period of at least 7,000 years of a well-prepared global and extremely challenging population turnover event, PTE, by Amerindian hybrids that forms the base of a cradle and civilizations in Europe, Asia, and Africa. Noah's Ark, also carrying animals on a voyage during a flood or diluvian narrative, as featured in the Bible, is a deliberate abstract that plays down or kind of covers up a period of at least 7,000 years of a well-prepared global and probably extremely challenging population turnover event. This population turnover event did form the base of a cradle and consequent civilizations in Europe, Asia, and Africa. We claim that these illustrations are related to hybridization, fertility symbols like snakes, Scorpio, sperm, etc., and possibly insemination of humans and animals, bull or auroch with snake and or sperm. The appearance of one or more lions or felines, leopard, jaguar, etc. symbolizes the intention to reproduce a fierce race or to descend a fierce spirit to obtain a fierce race. These and similar representations and symbols seem to be even more frequent, but less explicit and more symbolic, in the Americas, where we claim to be the genetic origin, something that is clearly and systematically confirmed by all or most of the most important scientific markers. Similar illustrations appear on other location of the transoceanic currents and routes, Americas, Easter Island, Oceania, Egypt, etc. Unfortunately these scientific markers, and the symbol similarities, are quite often negated, simply not mentioned, or played down by consensus as drift, etc. 2. In other words it is about a PTE or population turnover event of at least 7,000 years, instead of the in the Bible narrated 40 days. Further, Noah's Ark is possibly related to Mount Ararat and or Yur or Uruk. This Bible abstract looks like a kind of consensus, alliance, between Romans and the descendants of Noah, descendants of those that crossed the North Atlantic Ocean etc., Sumerians, and possibly Israelites, Jews, in their interest or for the sake of civilization. Noah's Ark narrative seems to have been used at the time as a kind of consensus between certain people, cultures, and religions, probably mostly or under the eyes of the Romans and Israelites, Jews, while the real event, apart from causing unprecedented challenges for the region and the world, also added up to a significant part of the actual global-scale civilization that we incompletely recognize today because we think civilization to have started in Mesopotamia as the cradle of civilization, while it in fact started in the Americas. 3. 
Origin of Noah and All Sumerians in the Americas, Hybrids, YHPR. 4. Settlements or communities like Gobekli Tepe as well as so-called sister sites, initial basis or symbol of this cradle of civilization, Ararat Mountain, Noah's Ark. Noah's people, ancestors and hybrids, needed to cross the Atlantic Ocean, starting at the onset of the Younger Dryas. 5. Gobekli Tepe and its sister sites present plenty of indications of a. Advanced transatlantic, non-compass, nor sextant-based, mostly by unique stars and star constellation in combination with wind and birds observation-based navigation. b. Hybridization. c. Artificial insemination and or hybridization. d. Indications of the overall American origin of all of this by means of artifacts, animal depictions, and symbolism. We hypothesize that tens of infrastructures or communities like Gobekli Tepe and so-called sister sites, with many of them in modern-day Turkey, represent the early or initial basis of this cradle of civilization, not far east of the also in the narrative mentioned Ararat Mountain, and can be linked to the in the narrative mentioned Noah's Ark. Noah's people needed to cross the Atlantic Ocean, that is merely a symbol for the fleets and waves of migrations that were needed, making use of the North Atlantic Current, in a roughly 40-day journey for the Ark as well as all ships, fleets and waves involved in a period of at least 7,000 years, roughly starting at the onset of the Younger Dryas. 6. It needs to be observed that there are other much earlier, often less recognized turnovers and consequent civilizations also originating in the Americas that are not the subject of this video and that are presented in other videos of this channel. Certain turnovers are confused with meteorite impacts because these are less inconvenient for consensus and possibly make better narratives that in quite some cases solve inconveniences and or paradigms. 7. Yurak's King Gilgamesh. Association with Yurak's King Gilgamesh, 2700 BC, built the city Yurak. The narrative of Noah and his Ark shows extreme spatial and temporal association with the perhaps historical Yurak's King Gilgamesh, who would have lived about 2700 years BC and built the city Yurak. The Noah and Gilgamesh narratives present many temporal and spatial associations as well as the deluge, and could very well be one and the same, and if they were, this would consequently confirm the narrative. We should be critical because of Gilgamesh there exists quite a lot of physical evidence, while that is not the case of Noah and this despite the extreme relative proximity in time as well as spatial, Yurak and Yur are quite close and possibly one and the same place. 8. The extent of A, the Eurasian turnover and civilization and B, the Austronesian turnover and civilization is illustrated by the Younger Dryas Bly boundary and or the Australasian impact field, Austronesian expansion. Further on we will argue against the term impact field. 9a. The direction of the migration, invasion, and turnover is from the Americas to Eurasia and, out of the Americas, is executed by Amerindians with hybrid Amerindian genetics and genetic markers which consequently are the origin or ancestors, exactly as the scientific ancestral and migration markers, as well as archaeological artifacts, show us over and over. These scientific markers are quite often not sufficiently, not timely or not completely correctly recognized by consensus, quite often drift as explanation for paradigms is too easily and too often selectively used. That is also the reason why the new ancient DNA research by geneticist David Rye detected the genetics of Amerindians as well as their markers in the studied and reported population turnover event, and consequently in a significant part of the DNA and genetics of modern-day Eurasians. 9b. The Bizarre Ancient Sumerian Connections in Peru there are many more connections that are bizarre if one does not or not sufficiently considers the scientific markers and also or consequently does not recognize transoceanic voyages, migrations and migration routes and population turnovers. Thank you. This series will continue.